I want to talk about stupid people pretending to be spiritual teachers. Um, I just hear so much garbage. It's monkey mind people who hear things and then they just repeat them and they call it a spiritual teaching. People have never done the work. Never got rid of their narcissistic traits. Never read other spiritual teachers to get a good database to go and draw from. Fly-by-night organizations that, you know, they call it spiritual, but what is it? It's like uh, the millionaire mind of T. R. T. Harv Ecker. Is that spiritual? That fucking guy's an asshole. And all them fucking people. Because I went there. I paid the good money to go there. That's all fucking bullshit. It's all fucking, it's not spiritual, it's crap. He's a fuck face, T. Harv Ecker. You can go fuck yourself, T. Harv, because, you know, seriously, you're an asshole, fuck face. Anyway, I can't do anything for you, you're a fuck face. Fuck face means you're low vibe, low on the scale of human consciousness. So, I mean, yesterday I heard somebody else, I don't know, channeling somebody, and oh, well, you know, there's going to be all these upgrades, this full moon, or this new moon, or all this astrological shit. And this is going to happen, that's going to happen. It's just garbage. As somebody said, oh, you're going to be removing templates from your mind or your DNA. Or just endless fucking buzzwords and bullshit. Somebody else is going to do the work for you. The extraterrestrials are going to do the work for you by sending you DNA light upgrade activation codes. I hear this fucking shit every day on the internet. It's a pile of shit. It's a pile of garbage. No one can give you spiritual gifts. You have got to make yourself ready for Source, God, to give them to you. You have got to get ready. You have got to make yourself ready. You've got to make yourself ripe for receiving. Maybe it's a download from uh, Spirit or whatever. You have got to get ready. And, you know, listening to uh, videos saying so-and-so from the Palladians is going to be saying light activations is like bullshit. Anyway, some of your people are going to say, well, I like the play. Fine. I still listen to these things I do. And I do pay attention. Because they say this portal is going to be open. It's like the Lion's Gate portals, 8-8 eight, eight, or all those other things. Do I ever see any changes? Zero. Zero. It's, none of that ever turns out. Never, 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 never. It's all bullshit. There's so much bullshit, everybody knows. But how do you get good information? Uh, mostly what you need to find is somebody who has been doing this work for lots and lots of years. Somebody who is very knowledgeable about all these different spiritual teachings. Can cut through the crap, give you the good ones, and tell you immediately that's a piece of shit. And then perhaps explain to a certain extent why. And the reason why when it comes to this is that... Things like meditation are absolutely essential for you getting to higher consciousness. You know, and if it was true, then everybody should get these activations on the planet. And you should see everybody, people that don't do any spiritual work, don't do meditation, don't do anything. They should all be activated, shouldn't they? They should all be jumping to higher consciousness. Should have seen it already. I mean, people have been talking about these activation codes for decades and decades and nothing ever changes. It's just bullshit. It's just, it's the same old script. So, to cut through all the crap, people don't give you nothing. They don't give you nothing. You give yourself whatever you need. You got to do the work. You, 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 because it's about you. So, don't expect other people to give you something. If they're going to give you something, a lot of times they get their hand out and I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to give you something that's really worthwhile, but you're going to give me how much money? Whatever money it is, it's always about money. And that's why they give you all these fucking lies. It's because they can lie and then, you know, say, but I want you to pay me. And if you're naive and young and you don't have a clue, like I was, I mean, I spent a lot of money on f uh, fake teachers.
I had to go anyway because I had to know. There was, I mean, we didn't have YouTube in those days. And even if you have, you, I don't know. I saw a lot of people personally. Now, some people, they do claim that they get these activations and whatever. But I'm going to tell you, if they do, it's because they made themselves ripe to receive them. They raised their consciousness. They did the things that they needed to do to get their consciousness up so that they had enough consciousness so that they could receive things like downloads. People on YouTube are always talking about downloads that they get direct from spirit. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but a lot of people... If you're not getting direct downloads, then you need to raise your consciousness so you get them. So when people say these activations are coming and I don't feel like I'm getting the activations, what do I want to say about it? Uh, I just told you. I think it's bullshit. Maybe I just haven't enough activation. The thing is, I've been working on myself for decades and decades and decades, and I got a high consciousness. I'm against the scale of human consciousness. And if you learn muscle testing, you can go to YouTube and learn muscle testing. You can go and see exactly where I'm at. Uh, okay, so what else do we want to tell you? Uh, well, we're going to talk to you about... Um, I was talking about spiritual teachers, and I was talking about uh, older uh, spiritual teachers, people who modern day would be, I don't know, let's say uh, 80s, 80 years old. Um... And I was talking about um, meat eating. And um, when I looked up David R. Hawkins, who I talk about quite a bit, uh, he passed away um, around 2012, and he must have been about 80 when he passed away. And when it came to his... his I just watched a video of his about vegetarianism. And I came away with the idea that Dr. Hawkins likes meat so much that he wants to eat it. And he's kind of manipulating the spiritual talk towards, you know, it's okay to eat meat. But he didn't address the slaughterhouse and he didn't address factory farms. So I think he was a fuckface when it came to that. Fuckface is a low-vibe person. That lecture, I'm going to call it very low vibe because it's very much, he seems really snotty and snobby and prideful. He really does. He's a, he's, I, need, I can't tell you. He's been a spiritual teacher. I don't know what else because somebody's trying to interfere with one of these demonic fucking shit things again. They just love to interfere with me and torture me, as you all know. Now I'm off topic. I'm trying to stay on topic with Hugh Len. Dr. Hugh Len. Uh, but they always love to call themselves doctors, these spiritual teachers. I was like, fuck off. You're not even like a psychiatrist. He's like a psychologist. Uh, you know, he's not a medical doctor, but you call yourself a doctor, you know, because you got a PhD in psychology. It's like, fuck off, you fucking... F I can't even... No, it's hard for me to talk about it because of this reptilian attack. I'm still trying hard to get on Hugh Len, though, because Hugh Len, who talked all about Ho'oponopono and, you know, cleaning and everything here is data... He's very interesting. He's a very interesting guy at the way he looks at spiritual problems uh, almost in a computer science kind of way. Because he says everything around you is data. And if you want to fix your spiritual problem, you got to fix the data that's around here. And we all know in computers, sometimes you get corrupted hard drives and data gets bad, gets damaged. And, you know, so his spiritual technique of Ho'oponopono is a Hawaiian word. And it's about correcting data. Um, so the whole ponopono is basically um, uh, talking to and loving the data. Yeah. Talking to and loving the data. This is all the data. Um, imagine um, the holodeck and Star Trek The Next Generation. That's a whole lot of data. It's all computed. It's all computed reality, holographic reality, and he, that's what exactly what he's talking about. And then doing the whole ponopono to uh, fix bad data. 
which could be, you know, he talks about maybe heart disease. Heart disease is bad data. And he says, if you love the bad data, the bad data will repair and um, your heart disease will go away. Uh, well, um, that was back in those days when I used to go and investigate things. So I flew from Vancouver to Portland, Oregon to see uh, Hugh Lynn. And, um, well, I'm just going to tell you uh, what I want to cut to the chase with. Hugh Lynn is very much anti-abortion. He did a lot of prayers with all of us for aborted children. And then I watch one of his videos and somebody's talking about meat eating and he's eating a hamburger. And he goes, I love hamburgers. I just can't see this um, this guy. This guy that's like all about you know how horrible it is to kill human babies. And everybody knows it's like <laughs> it's a horrible thing, but you know it's it's but, you know, how horrible that is. And he went on and on and on and on and on about the aborted babies. But then he can eat a hamburger. And he's got no problem killing beef for food. So it's speciesist. In other words, it's a horrible, horrible thing for a human. But for an animal species, a different species, they're just a commercial item. Kill it. I don't think Hugh Land is an integrity. No, I don't think he is. I really don't think he is. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to put that out there because, uh, you know, it just it just it kept on coming up from, I got to move on. Okay, what else do I want to talk about? Um, so I just want to give you uh, the overview of veganism. The possibility exists that we're going to be visited by extraterrestrials very soon. Could be like tonight. Anytime, anytime, we've been told over and over again that uh, they're ready to come here. They're ready, they're ready to come here. It's just our collective consciousness, uh, it's almost at the point where we've got enough consciousness uh, where they can start visiting us. There's still too many very dark people, people with low consciousnesses on the planet, and it brings the collective down, and they're very hard on uh, higher vibration beings. Because humans act like energy vampires. I experience it myself. Because when, I, when I'm around people, a lot of people, I feel like I'm just wiped out being around them. You know some of these people, very trying people. Wipe, just wipe out your energy. And they're energy vampires. So for these advanced extraterrestrials, being in the presence of low-vibe humans is like, I can't do it. I can't do it. So they won't come. So that's another reason for you to raise your consciousness. And, uh, well, what else do you want to know? Well, we don't know what these extraterrestrials look like. And it's quite possible when we watch Star Trek, um, the original series, Journey to Babel episode, we saw the Tellerites, they look like pigs. I don't think the Tellerites would be pleased with us eating bacon eaters. Uh, and then, you know, all of the brainwashing that we have that you need to eat meat to get iron in your blood and the protein and all this, all of this health food. It's all about them collecting money from you and giving you a story of why it's healthier to eat the meat than not. And it's pure brainwashing, pure brainwashing. When you go into uh, buy groceries... The meat's right there, all prepackaged, all made. It's so easy for you to buy and cook up. So you missed all of the horrible, horrible of the slaughterhouse and the factory farm. Completely hidden from view. You know what those words mean, but day to day, do you ever see them on the news? Never. It's totally suppressed. Totally suppressed, so you won't have an emotional reaction to buying the meat. But just imagine if you were four years old, and um, before you were going to have hamburgers on the barbecue, you had to watch a video about the slaughter of the animal, the actual video of the animal being slaughtered in the slaughterhouse and the factory farm. So that, you know, the child goes, do you want to know the horror? The horror, the absolute horror that goes into making that hamburger. 
Even at four years old, because if, if you're going to eat it, you need to know. Because a lot of people are like, oh, that's too horrible to show the children. It's like, well, then you're a fuck face, aren't you? Because you're brainwashing the child to believe that meat eating is ethical and moral by hiding the truth. So you're a fuck face, aren't you? You are. And I see them all the time. Any excuse to keep eating meat. Any old excuse. Why? Because you're lazy minded. You're incredibly lazy minded. You got low intuition about this subject. I mean, you got to listen to me talk about it from a morality, spiritual perspective. Why can't you do it yourself? Because you're too fucking lazy to raise your consciousness so that you can do it yourself. You know about the scale of human consciousness. You can Google it. And then you can learn about it. And you need to know this because it's really important. Because the Galactic Federation of Light is here. And the Galactic Federation of Light has told us that you have got to reach 540 on the scale of human consciousness or higher. Because that's the new standard for humans on planet Earth. You've got to be at 540, which is called unconditional love, which is like the love you feel uh, when you're hugging your dog or your cat. Does that feel so bad? When, you know, you're, you come home and your dog's wagging, your, wagging her tail at you and just smiling, let's go for a walk. I can hardly wait. You're like, I'm so glad you're home. Let's go, let's go. We got to go for a walk. Let's go. They get so excited. They just love you. And that's what we want to have all of you at where you're in that state of love, when you and your dog are in love, that's what we want for everybody all the time. Is that so bad? Well, to these evil fucking reptilians, that sounds, I don't know, they don't make any sense. Who are these? These are the fucking evil people. Evil fucking, they don't have to be extraterrestrials that are reptilian, they're human, but they got this reptilian way of thinking. And they close their heart chakra, there's no heart. So they have no green ray, and you got to look up green ray, I'm like rays of consciousness. Um, they don't have it. So they're running on all of these, a lot of them don't even have the upper chakras or the chakras of the head or the throat. They don't have those open. They're all fucked up. The heart's all fucked up, and people are running mostly on solar plexus. Down here, solar plexus. Uh, well, this is very animalistic and very controlling. This is, this chakra, you know, this is a very old school chakra. You know, this is this is inheritance from, you know, back when you were an animal, when you were a squirrel. When you were a squirrel, that's when, you know, the squirrel would use a lot of this because it's, you know, it's about the ground. It's about, you know, just living and dying. You know, that's what this chakra is. Uh, but going up into these, this is why the humans are, are supposed to activate these things and clean them all out. Because you got to get all that, all that stuff activated and you have to do it yourself. I mean, really, heart right here. 540 is here in the heart. The heart of love. 540, where you need to be. Because the Galactus have told us. Below 540, you're toxic. You're toxic not only on the earth, but you're toxic to the universe. In other words, you will be... Um, if you won't change, they're going to consider you toxic. and They're going to remove you. It's change or die. It's change or die. Raise your consciousness or die. Because it's been too long. It's been too long waiting for people to change. Many people have already made the change and raised their consciousness, and many people refuse to even open up a book or, or oh, watch a YouTube on the subject. Those people are closed-minded, closed-hearted, and they're toxic, and they're going to be removed. It better not be you. You're going to say to yourself, so what you need to do again and again and again is work on getting your consciousness up. And there's lots and lots and lots of stuff about raising your consciousness available on things like YouTube for free. So you have no reason not to raise your consciousness other than you're lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Why would you want to be lazy when we're at the point where a first contact with the extraterrestrials? Don't be lazy. Be excited. It's like, oh my God, this is what I've been waiting for forever. And I have. I've been waiting forever for this stuff. I watched Star Trek when I was 10 years old. You know, I mean, Star Trek was originally made in 1967. I've been waiting for extraterrestrials to, I wanted to go all this time. And it's still not here. And we know why. Because humans won't change. So those humans are toxic. And the extraterrestrials are going to tell you, we waited a long time. 
a long time to make contact with you. And those of you who are ready are ready. And those of you who refuse are toxic and will be removed. Removed where? I don't know. Some say to another 3D planet. And some say to... Um, I've got toxic, toxic AI reptilians still sending me demonic attack. And they're virtual reality bullshit. So this is the opposite. These are the negative people on uh, planet Earth. And we're told that there's negative people that are extraterrestrial. They're vicious and vile. They want to torture and kill you. Not only you, but your children too, especially your children. They're insane. They're insane evil. So, you know, if you don't raise your consciousness, these are the extraterrestrials that are the ones coming. No, they're already here. These nasty ones were brought in by Eisenhower in the 1950s. He didn't make a deal with the benevolent extraterrestrials. He made deals with evil extraterrestrials. Those are other stories. President Eisenhower in the 1950s. You can go look it up. They try and whitewash Eisenhower because they say, well, this, that, and the next thing. But in the end, that's what the deal was. But then they say, well, he had no choice because the extraterrestrials had superior technology to what he had in the U.S. Armed Forces. So he wanted to, well, that's a bullshit story. The real story is that he met with benevolent extraterrestrials who told him they had to get rid of nuclear weapons and they would, um, you know, give him spiritual protection and he didn't buy it or whatever it was. He Remember, he was an army general before he was president. In the end, he told them to fuck off and then the next ones came and they were the, you know, like the tall grays and, and things like that. And that's who we made the secret deals with and those are the ones that are in the deep underground military bases, the dumbs. According to the stories, I mean, I've never been to these dumbs or whatever, but you never know, talks about them. So anyways, uh, as far as the benevolent extraterrestrials showing up in your neighborhood, you yourself, if you want to see it, you got to raise your consciousness. Get it up to 540. Where's 540? Well, why don't you um, do some research? David R. Hawkins, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness, that book, and if you want a sneak preview, then just go to Amazon, select Kindle, and get the free sample. You can't do any better than free sample, and it's going to prevent you from maybe being eaten by these goddamn things. You heard of cattle mutilations and uh, um, abductions of humans by extraterrestrials? Do you want that to happen to you? Well, it's just that there's this great split between the people who refuse to change and still stay in low consciousness states. They're going to a world of control by reptilian humans, and we're seeing it more and more between this and forced jabs and lockdowns and all this fucking bullshit and endless fucking lies about, you know, common colds being diagnosed as COVID because these machines that weren't even built in your town, God only knows where they're built. No, no one knows who's tested them and affirmed that this is a, a correct and it's calibrated correctly. Nothing. They just give you the result, and because you're brainwashed the idea that science is science and nothing is better, well then, you know, you're open to abuse by companies like Pfizer. Pfizer is a known felon, a criminal. They are a criminal, a repeat criminal corporation. You go look it up on Google. Pfizer was fined $2.3 billion for being a criminal. Go look it up. I'm not lying. I am not lying. Pfizer, who's always over the news about more fucking jabs. They're a fucking crooked bunch, aren't they? They're evil fuckfaces. And you're going to get more and more evil fuckfaces. I mean, they're just tramping on all our human rights over and over again. So if you don't raise your consciousness, you're going to be ruled by these evil fuckfaces. It's your choice. Keep eating meat. Keep drinking booze. Keep watching all that fucking garbage fucking news. And keep yourself scared. It's fear. Fear is low vibe, and that's what these people are all about, constantly dripping fear into you. Threat, 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 this threat, that, that, that. And they make you seem like you're such a weak thing that you need all kinds of protections from the governments and from the doctors and the lawyers and the every fucking thing. All of this fucking shit that costs you so much money, and then you're like, why the fuck don't I got to go through this bullshit red tape? So that's that choice. Low vibe humanity people are going to stay controlled by all of this fucking criminal fucking mafia cabal shit all over the planet. So to get rid of this stuff, you got to raise your consciousness. And then you're open to contact with the benevolent extraterrestrials. 
And then I guess the sky's the limit. If they're going to let you go for a ride in a spaceship, and they're not reptilians, don't go on their fucking ship. They're going to put you on there. They're going to turn you into Baconators. So you, know, you got to make sure that you're at a high level of consciousness because it benefits you because your intuition goes right off the chart when you raise your consciousness. Your intuition about whether people are good or bad, it gets really, really sharp. Super sharp. Super sharp. Really, 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 you really know. Consciousness tells you about other people, what they're all about. Before you even get there, consciousness says, don't go down that street. There's a fuck face down there. You got to go around. That's what happens to me when I walk around. Consciousness just said, don't go down there. There's something dangerous down there. Don't go down there. Intuition is really good. So there's all kinds of wonderful things that happen in higher consciousness. Manifestation. I don't know, just synchronicity, serendipity, fun, love, joy. Because at the top of the scale of consciousness, that's what it is. Sat, chit, ananda, uh, Sanskrit words, which is uh, ancient uh, languages from India. Sat, chit, ananda is like uh, bliss in consciousness. Doesn't that sound much better than, you know, aching backs and uh, stomach trouble and diarrhea and migraines and I got to get my tooth drilled and get my pancreas re-examined and I got a cyst back here and all this fucking hell. Oh, constantly going back to the doctors and enormous prescription drug bills payable to Pfizer, the criminal. So uh, to wrap it all up, Raise your consciousness. Uh, I get transcending the levels of consciousness by David R. Hawkins. Stop eating meat. Stop drinking booze. And for Christ's sake, stop listening to the mainstream news and their lies and lies and lies. Endless fucking lies. Because the mainstream news is owned by the 1%, the same people who own Pfizer, the convicted felon. Go figure it out.